everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, w Will and Kenny Right TV with our, our very special guest, Mr. Mike Morrissey. Hey! Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Well, of course, we're you, excited to have you. Would you mind talking to Mike for a second as I make to see, I check if the audio is working on the Twitch. Oh, hell yeah, I'll talk to Mike for a second. I'll talk to Mike all night. That's the new show. Oh, hell yeah. That's a new show. Well, tell me about this headset. Is it, I'm, an, I'm new to the show. Is this a, is this a fourth episode? It's a character. In a it's a character. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you say, is the headset part of a character? Is that a consistent... Is that a consistent piece? So I bought this headset because we were like, uh, you know, me and Kenny and some other boys were like, yeah, we're going to all start playing PlayStation 4 games together. Nice. Didn't have one, went on Amazon, found the most like, uh, you know, metallic spider looking uh, okay. gamer headset I could for like 20 bucks. And then I was just like, it's easier because the my other mic is in the keyboard. So otherwise you hear me slapping on the thing as I type. And uh, I figured that would help mitigate that, but also it's a statement, it's a it's a conversation piece, as is my lighting right now. Uh, so you know, we're just trying to up the production value of the show here with things. I like agree. That. I was gonna also ask: is the lighting and is the lighting a new feature for for all the folks at home? I just got the lowdown on Will's expensive new lighting equipment at the house. <laughs> this is the premiere of the LED really? light bulb <laughs> on this show. I bought it because Kenny has some nice Bluetooth ones. This was like six bucks on Amazon. Go pick one up. You turn your room into a, a rainbow. A the, moral, the moral of the story is that I fucked up because I didn't know they were $5. Well, so, but you have a nice one that you can actually like control and sync to yeah. the music. This is the only way to control it. This feels like it's made of paper, this remote I control. Get <laughs> it has like a watch battery in it, and it's like literally a matchbook. So uh -huh. uh, it it's probably not durable. I think in the long run, you made the right choice. Is there anyone in the goddamn chat who will yeah, give us- there, let us know. First of all, let us know. Second of all, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And, oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And third of all, uh, you will be the only person watching and the only person to be able to give us the name and or the genre and probably both. We never really solidified how much we want from people. No. Uh, name of an episode, a genre type of a TV show. Only thing, no buddy cop shit, because we like we accidentally made the first two of them into buddy cop things, even though they were like uh, a teen drama, and we were like open on detective's office. McCluskey walks in. We have and a it's hard. Like, it's bad. We have a hard time making it. Not I really every time we're writing so far the past three, and when, so that's the base we're working with three. Uh, I felt the urge to turn it into a buddy cop for like being like no way sanchez it's my way or the highway and, and this is all the first two the this was pre you know renewed awareness that cops suck oh you my know God, so like no. so like Stop. doubly doubly now we would cops never do that suck. <laughs> yeah if you're a cop in the chat fuck you you don't get to give us a title of a show unless you want to donate yeah unless you let's do donate <laughs> Uh, oh, well, no, just kidding. You're, you're all bastards. bastards. You're all bastards. Fuck off. Uh, uh, Michael, uh, since no one seems to be in the chat, it seems I think the two people watching the Twitch are us. But this script will live yeah. on forever. So even though right now no one's watching, your our work will live on forever. What is uh, what is a show you've been watching or a genre of television you especially like? Oh my gosh. Well, it's unfortunate that no, you asked me to watch it because the, I I'm. I'm a TV repeater and I always watch the same shit, but the, the only new show I've watched is Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is really good. It is about those fucks. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not do that. I'll limit myself. What was it? It was a show I've been watching or what are the general show? What is the other? Or e even like, like something you've been meaning to watch. People are banging down your door saying, you got to see this new whatever the fuck. Um, I, I was, uh, I went on a kick of watching, uh, it's not billions it's succession. I watched three episodes of that show and it was great. Ooh. And I don't love, I love that. I don't know anything about, I know very little about succession and I know nothing about billions, but anyone I talk to about those shows who also haven't seen them always gets them confused. I think they're probably, I've, in my head, they're the same premise. I yeah, I can't. So I cannot it. think of a thing about either of them, nor differentiate them from one another. Well, I'm one very, of them I, I, Paul Well, no, no. So I'm very excited because I know what this genre is, which is 
it's HBO drama about very successful people. Yes. So it's, and it's about how these people are very successful, but also all hate each other and are tortured. Yes. Okay. Are these like, are they families? Is this it's like usually uh... families or business? It's usually, usually it's either, it's always about the business that makes it all their money and their relationships that are all fucked up. So, okay. I, so if we pick like an industry about like, you know, like something like finance or billions is about football. Right. And it's about a drama about people who are you're thinking of ballers with oh, Dwayne the Rock? Ballers, you're totally right. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's wait? What's Billion, billions about? Billions, billion. I don't know. <laughs> billions. It feels you like could, it's the same thing though, because it's if you if you splice together um, a a trailer for Succession and then put an image of Paul Giamatti like in a chair turning around <laughs> and told me it was billions, I would believe it. All I know about billions is that it's about Paul Giamatti is in it, and I'm assuming someone has billions of dollars. And I'm assuming those those premises are the same. So like you're saying, it's like people, it's almost exposing it's the, the, the 1%. It tells the story of a hedge fund manager as he accumulates wealth and power in the world of finance. All right, I'm going to go ahead and name our show Fortunate Son. Yes! <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, let's not, let's not label the industry. Let's just figure it out. Yeah. Fortunate son. Do we want to name the episode? Uh, fortunate son. Uh, uh, money ain't worth its weight in dirt. Money. And all, all of the episode titles are kind of like song, like they're almost like song lyrics. Like they kind of. They're all tied. Yeah. Yeah. The money. third episode was money, 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 money. Great. Money don't um, grow from trees. Alrighty, uh, I got I got where we are. Exterior, uh, dirt yard, uh, noon time. Uh, we see a big old pile of dirt. A dump truck of some kind is dumping more dirt onto the already pretty big pile of dirt. We hear like a a truck beeping as it backed up to dump the dirt. The the dirt is being dumped. I have something. Yeah. Uh, uh, we see. Uh, I was gonna say Tony, but I don't like Tony. We see George walk out from behind the dump truck on a cell phone call. George is dressed really nice <laughs> and is talking on the phone and is distracted and is caught off guard by where the dirt is being dumped george and so then george says oh you got it i i, I yeah, got take it. it take go, it go for, go for it <laughs> to the, what is he doing to, oh okay so george, <laughs> to, to the dirt. george says i don't care who his parents are just get him to buy the fucking thing. I all right, and then and then, George. <laughs> well, and that's on the phone. Oh, okay, George sees the dirt again, and yells at the driver. George, not there. That's the good dirt. <laughs> <laughs> We paid a lot of money for that dirt, and you're mixing it with you're mixing <laughs> it with the cheap dirt. We're uh, we're a dirt family. All right, hold on. <laughs> I got I got the next slide. Uh, we cut to uh, interior. Um, I guess uh, lawyer's office. Uh, the lawyer's name is going to be, or I'll say, uh, we see a country, <laughs> yeah, we see, we see a Southern country <laughs> gentleman <laughs> lawyer. Cowboy hat. His name is, yeah, cowboy hat. <laughs> White cowboy hat. Yeah. Cowboy hat. Uh, his name is Glenn, uh, Phillips. Glenn. Dirt. Family, 
I guess we should say ske- skeptically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I, I got it. Uh, uh, Patricia. Can uh, we throw a last name on this family at some point, too, yeah, if, yeah. if anyone I'm, is a member I'm of I'm about the... to do that, yeah, or something yeah. like that. I, uh, dirt family. Uh, uh, watch your tone. My father <laughs> is kind to men who under who uh, underestimate the power of dirt. Uh, Glenn. My apologies, Miss uh, uh, Jumperfield. Yep. <laughs> of Jumperfield dirt. <laughs> How can I be of assistance to your dirt empire? <laughs> That's it. So then Patricia says, um, Patricia, well, so Patricia says, Jumperfield family has their eye on a big mud merger <laughs> I love this <laughs> had, their, had their eye on a big mud merger and the last thing we want to do the last thing we want to do is have people stick in their nose where it doesn't belong that's where you come in I got a line for Glenn uh okay it's updating for me. Come on, internet. Oh yeah, weird. Yeah, it's uh, doing the same. There we go. Oh, got it. Sorry, that's where you come in. Uh, Mike's all the way on the west coast, everyone. By the way, so maybe that's. Probably- I'm on the west coast, baby. It takes extra time for the dialogue to get across the continent. I, I was straight up just typing, <laughs> typing a little slower. But I, oh, but okay. moving forward, I'd like to blame it on the west coast internet connection. <laughs> I, I'm I'm sorry, ma'am. Are you asking me to silence people who threaten your <laughs> families, Patricia? Uh, pull, uh, no, no, I don't want to do pull that gun. Uh, Patricia Smith. She can pull, pull out a fake finger gun. <laughs> Patricia points a finger gun at him and takes a shot. Uh, Patricia, bang, bang. <laughs> think about <laughs> something to think about, Mr. Lawyer Man. Uh, I've got I've got a, a second sentence for Patricia here. Yeah. Uh, or hold on. So then we go. We're gonna do. Uh, Glenn. Glenn looks down at the finger gun. Not sure what to make of it. Patricia. Now, Mister Phillips, if you'll excuse me, I have to go. Or I have a. <laughs> I have a funeral to get to. I, Patricia, I, Patricia puts on uh, puts on her huge, rich sunglasses. I, I have a I have a great next thing that happens. Uh, cut to cut to uh, exterior jumper field mansion pool. Arthur, the son, lays in a floaty raft. Clearly <laughs> fucked up and hung over. Uh, George enters in a suit, clearly headed to a funeral. Uh, George, Arthur, <laughs> get the fuck out of the pool. We gotta go. Uh, uh, it's it's your mother's funeral. <laughs> um Arthur Arthur startled accidentally or Arthur startled spills strawberry daiquiri 
all over his bullshit uh, and dumps himself off the raft into the water. I want to, I want to change it to uncle. Cause I want it. I want him to not care. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So uncle, uncle Arthur says, no, it's uh, sorry. Are you saying that it's Arthur's uncle's funeral? Yeah. It's like his. Yeah. I like it being his mom. Okay. I didn't want. I didn't want to offend you, Michael. Yeah, it's okay. No, I like it. So let's. So Arthur's the brother, correct? Yeah. So Arthur brother uh, falls in the pool and says, "Oh, great! I was going to wear this bathing suit to the funeral." <laughs> Uh, we see that, or I guess we would have already seen what bathing suit he was wearing, but, uh, Arthur, Arthur gestures to, um, a Garfield Speedo. <laughs> ne- uh, barely concealing his dong. Uh, who, who's that? Oh, George. Uh, George, uh, George says... Get your shit together and put some real clothes on. This funeral is going to be a goddamn beehive (laughs) for potential investors. Plenty, Plenty of palms to be greasing. To be greasing, and I don't want you fucking this up. I I have a line for Arthur. Uh, Arthur uh, sits up in the floaty. He's still in the floaty, right? No, he fell off it into the pool, but he can he can get back on. I said no, no. He's uh getting out of the pool. Do you ever hear yourself? Do you ever take one fucking minute to think about the things that you say? This family, this family died years ago. Uh, Enjoy the mud. I'm going to be at club bumper buddy instead. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, that's where it's gonna be. Are we allowed? Can we cut? To, can we do a quick? Yeah, very, we very can do cut. whatever you want. <laughs> I want to do a very, very <laughs> quick cut to the bumper buddy club. <laughs> club, uh, quick cut to the bumper buddy club. We see Arthur. In his wet Garfield <laughs> bathing suit, bumping butts 70s style. You know what I mean? Bumping butts yeah, yeah, 70s yeah. style. Left, left to right, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> left and right style. Don't that style with two very large men. <laughs> uh, uh, a large. Large man number one. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Disney Plus is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> cut that. Shit. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna cut. I uh, cut to uh, interior uh, reception. Uh, I I have like a. Uh, uh, George stands next to Patricia eating hors d'oeuvres. Fuck, how do you spell that? Uh, H O R S D E J. How the fuck? It's like hors d'oeuvres. It's, it's O R D R D U R S. Uh, okay, there we go. Hors d'oeuvres. Uh, John, is that really how it's spelled? A fellow, or yeah, uh, approaches him. 
I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, and then George says, meh, <laughs> this thing was a uh, 7 out of 10 at best. <laughs> <laughs> now, John, let's talk turkey. <laughs> That's all I got. Oh, okay. <laughs> John says, Turkey, are you trying to get in on the on my are you trying to get in on my small turkey biz? Or are you talk are you referencing are you referencing this big mud merger I can't stop hearing about? I have I, I have something I need to happen. I'm so sorry. I do I, I do I, too, but I, it's it already it's in the past. I need to think how to shoehorn it in. Okay. <laughs> but so go ahead. Do what you're doing we first. See John's, uh, <laughs> we see John's son, Philip, in a turkey costume. <laughs> dancing, speaking inexplicably with a German. Wait, accent. is he here at the at the reception? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He is. Philip, father, I'm promoting the brand father. I don't know why I needed this to happen, but it's, uh, 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 John. The brand father. Uh, uh, John looks at George. John, kids, am I right? <laughs> um, cut to uh, cut to like a, a limousine ride. After we see, what was the woman from the start? Was it Victoria? Patricia's oh, yeah. the daughter. Um, well, I'm stuck in like cat. What the fuck is this? Uh, we see Patricia. So hold on, are Patricia and George uh, siblings? Yeah, yeah. We, we see, see Patricia, Patricia and George uh, riding in a limo. Uh, Patricia, unbelievable! Did you see what they covered her in, or what what they covered the the casket in? Uh, George, what? Jesus Christ! I, I had that special <laughs> order. I had that special order. <laughs> Patricia, it was practically half gravel. I could I could see bits of shale. Look, Patricia, that was premium dirt. Okay, jeez, it's like you always have to find some issue with every little thing. Uh, George takes out a uh, takes out one of those things where you can easily do cocaine. <laughs> what? I like a rolling dollar bill? No, or is it like the the, uh, like a roll dollar uh, bill? Uh, George <laughs> casually Hits a rail of cocaine off of the limousine mini bar. George. George uh, said, eh, whatever, I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. I'm over it. Well, George, George. Um, Patricia says, Patricia says, yeah, well, I told you we should have gone with the Alabama breaded mica. And dad is going to be furious when he gets in the limo. Uh, George. Oh. oh, do you have oh, something? Go for it. No, no, I was trying to pick something. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's all good. Um, 
Sorry. George, do you hear yourself? Do you hear what you've become? So obsessed with dirt? This family is fucked. George hits another monster rail <laughs> of cocaine. Uh, uh, cut, uh, uh, cut to uh, uh, intro uh, title sequence. <laughs> I would love if the title sequence sequence is a knockoff of the right. Money Money song from the Trump show. <laughs> but it's like very trying very hard to be that song without saying the exact words from the trump show the 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 apprentice oh oh oh, oh. Money, 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 money. <laughs> but instead of money, like, what do they say? dollars nickels dimes dimes pennies dollars nickels nickels dimes pennies dimes bills <laughs> Not, not quite hitting those. Clearly a re-record knockoff. <laughs> With an intent, do you remember the bass of that show? It was like, boo. Beep, 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 This is more like, <laughs> I like this one better. It's almost like Law and Order. Like they're like it's them at like a party, and they the, like moves really fast. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, and what do we see? We see uh, we see a series of shots of money and coins and bills falling uh, juxtaposed. Yeah with yeah. dirt <laughs> and, and <laughs> dirt stuff happening. Um, we see people gardening. We see that, foundations. Still being made and like people in their gardens like softly pressing soot. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, at the end, we see a hand reach up to a dollar bill and pluck it out of the air we zoom <laughs> back to reveal an actual money tree and the family sitting beneath it. <laughs> yeah, like, van <laughs> like a fucking vanity fair. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the whole cast is under the money tree. <laughs> oh my god. What a what a what a good genre of show we I settled like on. <laughs> Rich family drama. People love they sell. People like them. I know they're they're ubiquitous, and I think they're mostly they're well reviewed. Very ubiquitous. This we can sell this script. Let's sell this. <laughs> the better title would be "Dirty Money" in retrospect, but I mean, you know, we did what that we did. That would be good, but what what is ours? It's a uh, fortunate. No, I like the fortunate. Son. That could be that could be the episode title too. The show could be called "Dirty Money," and then the episode is "Fortunate Son." Well, I don't know because it, it's like, is George the fortunate son? Like, right? Yeah. Uh, no. It's a very bluthy uh, <laughs> situation. Cut. Uh, 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 open on is that one? Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, we uh, interior. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 outside of uh, building. <laughs> a group of students with backpacks all exit out a door. It is uh, nighttime. George, uh, is George? No, no. Is it Arthur? Arthur's Arthur? the bumper buddy. Kid. Arthur's the like, like, fuck up little brother. Yeah. Arthur is uh, one of the <laughs> the students. A teacher. Uh, Mr. 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 Gravy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gravy, uh, runs up to him. Mr. Gravy, Arthur, the work you did in that improv class, <laughs> it's some of the best I've ever seen. Um, 
Arthur's uh, Arthur's, Arthur's just, just like, like, oh, what? what? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just kind of said what I feel, you know. Uh, Mr. Gravy's like, like, no, seriously, seriously. I think you could <laughs> really make it bigger <laughs> if you only applied yourself. You could <laughs> seriously. Have a future in improv. <laughs> Maybe even teach improv one day. <laughs> Arthur is like, uh, yeah, well, you better talk to my... Is, he, is this a, a younger sibling of Patricia and George? Or is he yeah, this is the youngest sibling who it seems is just kind of the attention is off. Gotcha. Or, or the, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the expectation is off. Gotcha. So he's like, yeah, you better talk to my dad about that. Family business, you know? You know, uh, he'd kill me if I didn't go into dirt. He calls it dirt because it's like the, the industry. Into what, capital D dirt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like if I went into oil or something, you know, it's the. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. You're part of that jumper field family? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he's and then he's like, "Hey, listen, you know, I've got this big field. <laughs> I've, got, I've got this big hole. I've got this. I've got this big hole on my property, twenty feet deep. Real empty stuff here. I'm not say. I'm not asking for anything, but." Well, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, no. I love that we I don't was, know what the application of dirt is yet, <laughs> and so we're always just like. <laughs> Arthur says, "No, say it." Mister Gravy says. <laughs> No, it was silly. I just, <laughs> Arthur says, Arthur says, ask me. Oh, <laughs> Arthur says, ask me. Ask me for a favor. Mr. Gravy. And I have a Mr. bunch Gravy of dirt. Sweating. It is nothing. It is nothing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I am just a silly Columbia Law School improv teacher. <laughs> uh, all right. Just a silly Columbia improv teacher. What were you say? Do you have more? <laughs> Keep going. No, not more. really. I, I, I just want so Arthur Arthur says, go on, it's fine. He says, go on, it's fine. Mr. Gravy says it would be just it would be nice if I just could get a little help. All right, all right. I have a great thing that needs to happen. Uh, uh, we hear the beep of a car horn. The hey. the camera uh, pans over. We see a Rolls Royce with uh, George. Yeah, his father hanging out of it. Um, Hold on, I, I think. <clears throat> We, we said, said Arthur, Arthur is the youngest of the siblings, of the siblings Patricia, Patricia George, unless this is like George Sr. I thought George is the dad. Oh, oh. I thought George I was thought the George was oldest. No, I thought George was the, I thought George was the, uh, oh, well, uh, does, we, can just, uh, we can decide, it doesn't really matter, we can decide right now. Uh, George, have, uh, George, his brother, let's do that, that's fine, I like that. It makes it more, uh, uh, George's brother hanging out of it. But if you want his dad to pick him up, you just have this be George Sr. 
George Senior. Because then we haven't we haven't met the patriarch then, uh, like the 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 one who's probably holding the dollar bill in the right. thing. In right. The <laughs> Hang who on. I imagine was this ominous, yeah, large figure. Mister. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna call him George Senior. I'm gonna call him Senior. Yeah. Uh, senior, Arthur, get in the fucking car. We have to go to the gala downtown. Uh, Arthur turns back to Mr. Gravy. You see that? That's dirt money. <laughs> you see you? You're improv. This is all fun and games. <laughs> But I've got real places to fucking be. Can I add something? Because yeah. I have real places to fucking be. Arthur, when Arthur holds out his fingers in the shape of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. I do have one thing I want to add just, just previous to this, which is a description of Senior uh, after he says the, the, his father's hanging out of it. Uh, we see George Senior. Hey, uh, what's the name of the family? Uh, Jumperfield. Jumper, 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 Jumper. The Jumperfield patri Patriarch. He can only be described as a pioneer coal miner. For... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Gravy, uh, I've met your type before, kid. Don't blow a chance at something real. <laughs> Improv. <laughs> Improv is real. <laughs> uh, uh, cut to the gala. Oh, wait, yeah. do you have a line for Arthur? No, I don't have a line for Arthur, no. Uh, then cut to the gala. Uh, we see a, a big-ass ballroom. There's crystal shit and champagne being passed around. There are many uh, <laughs> Saudi-looking investors. <laughs> I should say investors in Saudi garb. There are many investors... Uh, wearing Saudi garb, mingling. Uh, uh, classic, uh, classical music is playing. Uh, amidst, <laughs> amidst all of that, we see George Sr. in a tux, his <laughs> face still covered in dirt, <laughs> holding a pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Um, jo uh, George Senior is talking animatedly to one of the Saudi investors. Uh, senior, you see, that's the beauty of dirt. Not like that dry crumbly stuff you got in droves over there you see when dirt gets wet you get only one thing mud uh trying to think of a uh, saudi investor name yeah i'm trying to think of what you these names kevin what's your name kevin we don't know yeah <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Farsi, why not? Uh, <laughs> I will just call, I'll call him Mr. Farsi for now. That's nice, a little more formal. I see, I see. Don't, don't check me on this. <laughs> or, or someone in the chat pitched me a better name. No. I see. Uh, this, uh, this merger appears to be equitable to the both of us. Mr. Jumper Barry, I keep fucking forgetting their family. Jumperfield, thank you, Mr. Jumperfield. I think that 
both of our families will benefit from this for generations to come. Uh, senior, I'm so glad to hear that. So, uh, Mr. Farsi, but your associate, John, was his name? Senior, yes. He said he can also provide turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that part of the deal? Senior, under his breath. John and his fucking turkey. <laughs> 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 blowing every deal I make. <laughs> um, uh, Arthur comes over, drunk, interjecting. Uh, Arthur, Dad, I want to go to the bumper. I want to go to the, what's it called, bumper buddy? The bumper, the bumper, bumper buddy. The bumper buddy club. I want to go to the bumper buddy club. How much longer do I have to mingle with these uh, dirt families? Mr. Mr. Farsi comes in. Mr. Farsi comes in and says, Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Who is this? Your associate just waltzing in? And expressing how he feels. Expressing how he feels. <laughs> this is incredibly unprofessional. Uh, uh, senior. Looking deep into Arthur's eyes. Him, he's nobody. Oh. Now, where were we? <laughs> puts his arm around Mr. Farsi and walks away. Um, the, the sound, the sound gets softer and softer. The sound around gets softer and softer as Arthur stands drunk. As Arthur stands drunk, hearing the words over and over. <laughs> the sounds. Nobody. 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 <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, what? What? Last go note it, on Arthur. Uh, Arthur takes a finger gun and points it at his head. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls the finger trigger. Yep. Okay. Perfect. That's even better. Uh, 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 Arthur dramatically falls backward. The music crescendos. <laughs> We, we, uh, cut to, uh, a CGI sky. <laughs> uh, oh, hold up. Cut to. Oh, come on. Cut to. Come uh, on, baby. Uh, cut to, uh, exterior CGI sky. <laughs> Arthur CGI. falls dramatically <laughs> through the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> in a dream sequence <laughs> as Imogen keeps hide <laughs> and see <laughs> place uh, we see um, Garfield shit and the uh, big guys from the Bumper Buddies <laughs> club floating past uh, him as well as money and dirt and Mr. Gravy. Uh, Arthur, Arthur uh, reaches out to them and mouths with no sound, 
Arthur, help me. <laughs> we snap back uh, to reality where Arthur has just collapsed into a table of whores <laughs> divorce. <laughs> we see from the floor perspective perspective uh george jr and patricia george jesus christ let's get him out of here that's all i got so patricia and george Oh, sorry, cut two. Oh, whoa, boy. I am I am new to the duel, whatever this thing is. Oh, writer duet? Yeah, it's... Writer duet, but it's okay. Um, so we see Trisha and George drag Arthur out to the back out. George says, that's it. That is fucking it. Um, that is fucking it. I had it up to here. I've had it up to here. Enough with the acting out. Enough with all of the personal deep expression you are a jumper field <laughs> and you need to start acting like it. uh okay uh george and patricia head back inside arthur lays in the alley he exhales Just another night in paradise. <laughs> he closes his eyes and pulls out a cigarette. He lights it in shit. It's cool. <laughs> Suddenly, we hear the rustling of trash. Oh, Out of yeah. Nowhere, uh, Philip appears still in turkey <laughs> costume. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, Fred. How was the gala? Hold on. Remind, Remind me Philip's relation to the rest of the family. Philip is John and George. John is Philip's dad who okay. works with the family and keeps trying to weasel like turkey. Gotcha. John, <laughs> John is like a John is a fan. I think John is a business associate of George Sr. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. He's also an idiot son. Uh, okay, yeah, I got okay. Gobble gobble friend. How is the gala? Arthur, uh Huffing, huffing the tobacco coolly. <laughs> uh, it sucks. Uh, it sucks. My dad's in there chatting up the Saudis again. Everyone hates me. Uh, what are you supposed to be? Some kind of bird? Philip, I'm a turkey, duh. <laughs> Arthur, great. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to think of. I want, I want the kid to go back to John with this like Saudi deal shit. That's what I'm trying to set up. The Saudi deal shit. To go tell John that about the meeting, like this is information slipping out that John isn't supposed to know, but it's getting transmitted through these two. Yeah, right. Oh, great, great. 
the fuck, fuck up is fucking up. So Art, uh, I'm going to turn you down. Uh, Arthur says, great. Philip says, oh boy. Um, he says, Arthur, you got to understand the value of being part of the family. My dad wants to bring quality turkey meats <laughs> to every city in the world, to every city in the world. So I hop right in this suit. I got some. Arthur says. I'm gonna go for it. Arthur says, "Yeah, it's easy." And your dad wants to bring turkey meats into the world. Not when your dad wants to make global mud trades <laughs> all over all over the Saudi network. Uh, all right, I got something. Uh, Philip. Well, I guess lucky for us, the Saudis wanted both your family's dirt, my family's dirt, and our turkey. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> not from what I fucking heard. <laughs> my dad cut the turkey deal off at the pass. <laughs> Philip suddenly wildly enraged. <laughs> <laughs> it's enraged. Wasn't he speaking in a German accent before? Or was that because, that because they're trying to bring it globally though? So he was like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to promote it in Germany now. Speaking He's constantly thing, changing accent for different markets. A thick New Jersey accent. The fuck did you just say? <laughs> Philip dashes off. Arthur. No, no, no. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Arthur crashes uh, back to the ground. Cigarette. Still. A rockin'. <laughs> I'll be hearing so, about this one, I guess. <laughs> That's all I got. So inside, we we cut to. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right. So we cut to. My cut tooth are just gonna be over there. That's fine. Um, <laughs> So we cut to back in the party. Uh, what was the Saudi guy's name? Kevin? Uh, yeah, Kevin Farzi, uh, Mr. Farzi. Mr. Farzi. So Mr. Farzi says, well, Mr. Oop. Well, Mr. Jumperfield. Well, Mr. Jumperfield, I haven't felt this good about an idea in a long time. Let me ask you, is $350 trillion American <laughs> dollars a good deal to a man like yourself? Uh, um, I'll fix that after. Yeah, don't worry about it. George Sr. says, oh, that'll do. Uh, I have a thing. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, after that, after your, oh, uh, that'll do. That'll All right. do. 
Uh, we she see, says, yeah. and he says it menacingly. Uh, we see over senior shoulder a small turkey, a small boy dressed in a turkey costume, approaching aggressively. Uh, <laughs> what does that kid's name? Phillips. Phillips swings a baseball bat at uh, <laughs> at senior's leg, <laughs> knocking him, knocking him prone before. Uh, Mr. Farzi. Uh, uh, se- senior. Oh, what the fuck? It's on HBO, so it's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. It's on HBO, so it's fine. Philip, you cut, you cut us out of the turkey deal? Uh, still, still, in, still in the jersey. Uh, sorry. God damn it. Philip still in a Jersey accent. You I fucking to... cut us out. Uh, that's all I got. Sorry, I'm trying to get this back to the character. Uh, 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 Mr. Farzi. Turkey. No, no. We decided just to shift our turkey so our turkey uh supplier to be the jumper fields george turkey dad we don't do turkey uh, senior we do now <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Philip, crying, you two timing, dirt loving, <laughs> uh, you two timing, dirt loving, idiot family bastards. Oh, so the the jumper fields are now doing their own turkey. They heard that Turkey, they heard that the Saudis wanted Turkey, and because John supplies Turkey, George Sr. said, well, fuck it, we'll supply our own Turkey, and we'll keep that cash, so John doesn't Jesus. get it. Jesus! <laughs> just, uh, at John this point, I'll, over. I'm gonna, I'll just play, lay these cards on the table, because it's, it's too deep to do this now. I was hoping to, at some point, have Turkey be, like, misheard as the country of Turkey, and, like, oh, misunderstood okay. in, in a middle East political sense, but, like, it's just turkey. <laughs> it's just the meat of the bird. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Dad. Uh, senior smacks Philip. Uh, you idiot. They didn't want turkey the meat. <laughs> they wanted turkey the country <laughs> which i with all my dirt millions <laughs> can Trill- deliver trillions now <laughs> with all be, my oh, Kenny, i don't know if you <laughs> yeah, they, they, they yeah. went on a deal for 300 trillion dollars <laughs> uh patricia deliver turkey how <laughs> Hard, hard zoom in on senior, senior, in a low growl. War. <laughs> Where did Mike go? I'm here. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm being really quick. With my, okay. my mic off and my thing closed. That's that's I'm, fine. I'm still here. That's fine. <laughs> We should wait for his return for the sake of this. How are we on? To, how do we want to? Uh, is this episode cliffhanger here? We're at we're at eight o'clock. Oh, but we yeah we can keep going probably. Let's let's try and push okay. a little further. Okay. Let's. Be, that could, that could, could have been an episode ending cliffhanger. That's the only reason I ask. I feel like it's one of those things where it feels like the cliffhanger, but it's the HBO though. They're, 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 they're long episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are forty-five minute. These are you know, premiere. Uh, 
I'm um, back. I'm here. Senior points a finger gun at what we now see is a map of the world on the wall. Of is it at the gala still? Yeah, or did you yeah it's at the gala. He points it at Turkey. Uh, bang, bang. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, keep going, keep going. That's it. That's all I got. Mm, I we got to we got to cut, cut to somewhere, somewhere from the scene, and we have to go like next day or something. I'm trying to think. Um, we haven't dealt with the beginning of the dirt in the well, the yeah. dump truck. Oh, oh I, I, hold on. So we yeah, go ahead. We cut. Oops. Cut to a shitty, run-down lawyer's office. Oh, yeah. Glenn. Oh, it's also Glenn, the yeah. lawyer. Cowboy Glenn Phillips. I think we said his last name was Phillips. Cowboy Glenn Phillips? I think so. It's just Glenn, I think, yeah. Rubbing his temples. Um, Susan, <laughs> Susan, his secretary enters. Nice. Susan says, uh, 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 Susan says, Mr. Phillips, I have those forms you were asking for. Have the storms you were asking for gasp sir you look awful distressed do you have anything more uh, i got a real quick interjection yeah. go for it uh, <laughs> uh rock super distressed <laughs> <laughs> We hear, we hear Glenn, Glenn's large uh, parrot, <laughs> parrot, Raphael. We just didn't see him before. Uh, like, Glenn, uh, Glenn, Susan. Oh, awful distress. Sorry. I, I, yeah, awful. Susan, would you believe I just received a phone call <laughs> asking me to declare war on Turkey. <laughs> now, how in the fuck am I supposed to do that? Oh my god. That's, that, that, that's, said, not, what, that's not what that's not what lawyers do. <laughs> that's what uh, that's what Congress does. <laughs> um, Susan has to be like, uh, Turkey the bird or <laughs> Turkey the country? <laughs> okay. okay. And then, and then Raphael goes, Turkey the country. <laughs> <laughs> I have something I really want. <laughs> Good glad. I'm afraid our dear associate Raphael <laughs> is, is correct. correct. <laughs> oh my God, that's. Did you mean that, Will? Uh, no, but it's, it works. <laughs> oh my God. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Susan says. Susan says, oh, sir, you'll be fine. You are the best rural, small town, associate degree, <laughs> holding lawyer that I have worked for. I am sure you can declare war <laughs> on Turkey. <laughs> okay, uh, Glenn. 
My dear Susan, I pray you are correct. But what a fine mess we have found ourselves in, Susan. Indeed. She takes... Raphael. Uh, she, oh, oh, hold up. Uh, uh, oh, no, go for it. If you want to put Raphael in, go for Raphael. Uh, Raphael's just going to say rock indeed. Oh, uh, <laughs> rock indeed. Uh, uh, Susan. Um, by the way, do you mind if I head out a little early? I'm taking this improv class downtown. Glenn, improv, say no more. Leave whatever you please. Uh, no, no. You I don't know. Uh, improv, no, you, I, no. I just want to just improv, improv, question mark. That's all I want to put. I don't really want to fill in the rest of that. Yeah. Improv? Cut to the improv class. <laughs> Got <laughs> to the improv class. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to edit everything I write after. Um, so, cut to the improv class. Mr. Gary, Mr. Gravy, Gravy. <laughs> on his off time. And this is—is is this in New York? I, I made Mr. Gravy a teacher at Columbia, and it definitely should not be New York. But maybe it's like Westchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh. So got to the improv class. Mr. Gravy facilitates a game of zip, zap, zop. Zop in casual clothing. <laughs> Mr. Gravy. It's because he's to, to show that he's not teaching at school right now. Exactly. Yeah, this is off time. And game. Well, <laughs> that's how the, in, in this world improv stuff is always ended a bad game. game I have to thank you you, you you students after losing my job and therefore losing my wife my house and all dignity I almost gave up on the world for a moment. A moment. It's almost as if, it is almost as if I am a man, nothing left to live for. <laughs> uh, the class. The the, the class, class looks on. It's <laughs> you there, Will? You yeah. Can... Am I still here? Yeah. Yeah, you're, that's better. Okay. Uh, yeah, the class looks on in silence. Not sure what to make of this. Uh, Mr. Gravy. Uh, hold on. He says. Hey, Taking all the states, I've lost my job, therefore losing my wife, my house, all my dignity. I almost gave up all the world for the moment. It's almost uh, so for a man, nothing to live for. Uh, Mr. Do you have something? No, I don't. Mr. Gravy says, because of that, a little support from our student, Susan, from our student, Susan. I have decided to take action. Sign us up for a YouTube competition, <laughs> which, which if we win, would reward us with a check for fifty thousand dollars. Reward us for a check of fifty thousand dollars. Enough to save my house. Uh, the only problem is, yeah, we are one man short 
of an appropriate or of an entry level team. <laughs> oh, I, I have a great thing. Uh, the camera pans over to Arthur doing a monster rail of cocaine. Arthur. <laughs> oh, come on, teach. Don't look at me. I do improv, but I don't do competitive improv. <laughs> He's just like sitting in on the class doing and does cocaine, but is not a part of the team. I'm here to just get my rocks off, do a couple yes ands, and then go home and sleep in my solid gold bed. Yeah. You could say, I got some problems. <laughs> um, I got, all right. Mr. Gravy goes, okay, well, uh, that's all the time we have for today. Class is dismissed. Oh, and don't forget to go over those exercises I gave you at home by yourself. Uh, uh, the the class, uh, yeah, the class begins to get up and leave. Arthur gets up to go as well. Mr. Gravy. Arthur? Arthur uh Arthur lights a cigarette inside <laughs> um are, and and begins to leave he pulls from his pocket a pair of keys he looks <laughs> at Mr. Gravy and tosses them to him Mr. Gravy looks confused. Mr. Gravy. Arthur, about the improv. What, what's this? Arthur. Uh, came across it. Thought of you. It's nothing. Arthur leaves. Mr. Gravy follows out after him. Uh, a huge dump truck full of dirt is parked out <laughs> in front of in front of the improv the theater. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Gravy looks at it, then to the keys and back to it, dumbfounded. Arthur walks off. Uh as he does, he catches Susan's eye. She smiles at him in, you know, that kind of way. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Gravy falls to his knees and starts <laughs> to scream. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've got, oh yeah, do it, do it, do it, He starts to, he starts to scream. Uh, Mr. Gravy's scream fades into a woman's orgasmic screaming. We smash cut to uh, Arthur and Susan fucking because it's fucking HBO and we do what we want. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Moments later, uh, uh, we then jump to moments after coitus. Susan runs her hand on uh, Arthur's <laughs> chest, drawing little shapes. <laughs> little sh I'm sorry, I have to pee really bad. I'll be right back. Keep there going. Go, guys. Good. Who would have known a little improv? <laughs> Boy like you could 
phone. No, 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 no. Wait, what? No, I want to hear it. I want to see it. I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to get a line that explains that like she says that she works for his family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was nice. Arthur smiles in a gentle way we haven't seen before. Oh. Yeah, it really was. Uh, uh, I want to do yeah. something. Wanna, go for it if you have something. So, okay, Susan said, would you have an idea of something you want? No, 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 no. no. Susan says, uh, that really blew me into another galaxy. You must have been holding on. You must have been holding on. Uh, <laughs> you must have been holding on to some serious stress. Arthur says, uh, when you're the when you're the son, oh, when 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 you're the son of a man who holds responsibility for the war on Turkey, sometimes you really need to get your rocks off. I, I have something I need to write. <laughs> uh, rocks off. Uh, uh, Susan. Wait, you're part of that Jumperfield family? <laughs> <laughs> I love when everyone says, oh, that one? Yeah, there's so <laughs> many Jumperfield Jumper families in this yeah. world. Super uh, common name. Does that scare you? Susan. Smiling. No. I like it. <laughs> this is that HBO drama. Yeah. I, I want to write something really insane. Whenever, whenever we reach an ending point, I have a very insane post credit scene that I want to set up. Okay. Um, Are we approaching the end of the episode? I think so. Probably, yeah. Uh, so, so, no, I like it. Arthur says... Uh, uh, everyone does, uh, everyone does. People like knowing that they are surrounded by company, uh, with great, uh, with company with heavy responsibility. And Susan says, uh, she says, I know I do. How about one more round? Arthur says, uh, bu -bu -bu. Arthur says, how about two? <laughs> Arthur, Arthur, uh, Arthur gets on top of Susan. And we see Susan looking over to the nightstand mm. and grabs her cowboy Glenn Phillips and partners company pen <laughs> and stabs Arthur oh shit in the back of the neck <laughs> whoa uh, I, all right. Okay. So now Cowboy Phillips doesn't have to go to war. Holy shit. All right, cut to, uh, cut to, uh, Turkey International Airport. <laughs> a woman, a, an older woman walks out of the depart, uh, out of the arrivals. Uh, terminal. She is wearing big sunglasses. 
she pulls out her phone and makes a call. Woman. Are you doing what I think you're doing? Yeah. I'm here. She takes off her sunglasses. It is Mrs. Jumperfield. Yeah! (laughs) 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 Fuck yeah. (laughs) Theme plays. Cha-ching, ding-dong, money dirt. Uh, theme song plays and credits. Holy fuck, yeah. I love boom and the dad holding the money surrounded by his kid around the day. The other option, the other option is that the money falls and hits them on the head and they look like Isaac Newton underneath the money tree. <laughs> Wait, it, it, it hit on that and then what? It, it's like Isaac Newton underneath the apple tree. Like, I mean, different <laughs> different, different kinds of money maybe grow on the tree. So some are like coins or gold bars and stuff. Oh and like those like, fall and like, hit them on the head. I, this is a rousing success of a, of a TV show, I say. Like... I know it's like it's like a template thing, but I'm genuinely like you could write a TV show about like a dirt family and like call it Dirty Money, and that would be like a fucking pilot for HBO. Yeah, Dirty Money is a really good title. I I really liked it because I think there is a show called Dirty Money though on Netflix. Oh, of course there is. Yeah, it's it's like a doc or something, or is it a doc series? It's a documentary. Yeah, yeah. But this was this. You were right in that if you name the episode "Fortunate Son." Mm-hmm. You assume, based on the way it starts, that it's George Jr. Yeah. But then you find out that I think it might be, um, what, what, what's his name? Arthur. Uh, Arthur. Arthur. And but then he's at the end, in the you neck. find out that he's, he's not so fortunate. It's an mm-hmm. ironic. Yeah. It's an ironic title. Maybe the turkey boy is truly the fortunate son. <laughs> I mean, I would be, I would love to see the next episode of like how that character pans out absolutely yeah Yeah, this this was was a blast blast. audience be damned fuck you twitch one person uh oh really yeah it could be i'm watching it too so probably you uh but yeah thank you so much for doing this with us mike this is a blast come back anytime uh we're gonna keep doing it so yeah um if can i just plug some stuff real quick hell yeah of course um, plug to uh, my I'm right I'm a writer on uh, on blah, 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 on dirty money on HBO <laughs> soon. Uh, it's gonna be real good stuff. Follow me, Mike P. Morrissey on IG, and yeah, no, this is so much fun. I thought this was really really great, and I love I love this show. Well, thank you, Mike. Awesome. It was a blast. Yeah, yeah, love it. Anything else you want to say, Kenny? Is this, we don't have, we're not good hosts. No, we don't. it was, it was fun. I just, it was, this format was interesting because normally we kind of trade more line to line, but this we were kind of trading like chunk to chunk. It's yeah. interesting to see it change because it's like a fast talking show sort of. Like, I think like we were thinking of less like a little more, I don't know. It's interesting to, it was interesting to see like try such a different genre and how it changed the way we wrote it. This is also probably the most, like, consistently in a grounded world one we've done. Like, <laughs> I know. I liked Raphael, though. Huge fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to. I feel like that's the Fonzie of the show. That's where you're going to get the merchandising money. Yeah, people love him. There'll be T-shirts that have, like, the things he says on them and stuff like that. It would be great. But, Mike, I gasped when, uh, when, when she stabbed him in the neck. It did, too. <laughs> So, I didn't see it coming. It, it, and that's hey, if you if you got us shocked, you got the audience shocked. You know, like no one said being a millionaire was easy. No <laughs> one said now. being part of this dirty family was easy. It's only going to get, get more complicated from here. Also, she uses a pen to kill him. I feel like that's like symbolic because she's probably like a behind the scenes like lawyerly. Like she's probably killed people with a pen in other ways before. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's gonna be I, a yeah. what? Oh, go for it. I just like that it ties it back to her loyalty to Dr. Cow- to, to Cowboy Glenn Phillips. Mm-hmm. I was also going to say, I like to imagine a cut scene where it's a flashback to her as a child, like in a dojo fighting with a pen, like she's been doing it for years. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you again, uh, Mike. I don't have much more to say besides this is a lot of fun. Uh, come back anytime. Uh, yeah.
Thanks, Buzz. Loved it. Thanks for having me. And yeah, see you guys later. All right. Thank you.